Leon, thanks very much for joining us today. Pleasure. Just tell me a little bit more about the company and just give us an update on some of the, some of the strategy for the business. Yeah, basically we are pop-up. It's uh, our primary business within the pop-up space, which is uh, effectively an Airbnb of retail. It works as an Airbnb where both the, the asset uh, owners or the landlords or the brokers, they can list their space onto the platform, which is quite straightforward and easy. Uh, whereas, uh, on the other hand, you've got brands which can select the locations. Uh, we cover the whole of the uh, European market. Our main strength has been in the past London, but we want to start expanding towards also secondary and third tier cities. Uh, also looking at place making, how do we fix the problem, their locations, uh, but also by giving young entrepreneurs opportunities. So the platform, the way it works, it uh, has the payment tools, it's got the contract built in. Uh, so it's a very easy, straightforward way, and it's a really easy tool for brokers to be able to work with, uh, with their assets to make sure their assets, uh, or the assets which, which they're managing, are constantly generating an income for their, uh, for, for their clients. Leon, there's a lot of discussion at the moment around e-commerce, um, retail, and particularly the use of retail real estate space. Um, do you see we are pop up as one way of beginning to change how that space is used? From what we see, what's happening through uh, the platform today, is we have a tremendous amount of online companies which are going offline. That they're using it in many cases for branding, for brand awareness uh, of their uh, their website. It's difficult for online companies to create an online only experience. So in the, at the end, if you're fighting for the client, you need to go offline. So whether you're a brand, which is an online brand currently, or whether you're uh, an e-commerce business in general, you will need to create either pop-up shops or permanent locations, which will be the experience destinations to represent your brand. And in terms of countries, cities, um, where do you see the growth at the moment? Currently, it has been based upon demand, so where we see more demand or interest, uh, we go there. And that's both either from the property side or the, uh, the tenant side. We are looking quite actively at the East European markets, uh, greater Middle East market as well. Uh, but for us, it's all about bridging. It's about bringing companies from one country to another country, giving brands an opportunity of testing, trying, tasting, basically, the, the market. The way we see the platform for existing retailers, we see it as a dating site where they can start getting to know destinations, cities, countries, before making long-term uh, commitments. Great. Thanks very much for sharing your views on the on the company, an interesting strategy, and I look forward to seeing how it develops. Thank you very much.